Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are live from the E Arena here in Los Angeles College, located in Monterey Park, for another rendition of Huskies basketball. Today, they take on the defending state champion from Fullerton College of the, the Hornets. I'm Albert Robles, joined with me here today, Coach Darren French. French, how are you doing here tonight? Going great, Albert. Excited to be here tonight. And we're excited to have you. So as we've indicated, you know, Fullerton College, they are these defending state champions. Huskies, they've made it to the playoffs the past couple of years looking to make a statement. What do the Huskies have to do to uh, make a statement to Fullerton that they're here to play? Well, the, it, it starts on the defensive end, Albert. They've really got to they got to get back and transition defense. They've really got to do a great job of ball screen coverage tonight. And then offensively take care of the ball and, and get great shots. Excellent. And of course, Huskies come in today with an overall record of three and four. Most of those losses coming from the various tournaments that they participated in. So I really don't want to say that that indicates how good this full, that this uh, Husky team can actually be, because those tournaments are meant to show your team like you know what you can actually do and where you can learn from. It's games like tonight, the conference games that show what your team is truly capable of. And Fullerton, they're off to a pretty good start. They just came off a, I believe one game win, actually two out of three wins, <laughs> sorry, they won two out of three games at their own uh, classic that they've hosted, the 37th annual uh, Fullerton College Hornet Classic. They came out of that fairly well. They have an over record of eight and three. So I believe we're in for a very, very grueling battle here today. Yes, I agree. It's going to be a great contest. As I learn to battle with my words and speech here tonight. <laughs> so Huskies in the white jerseys, Hornets in their classic navy blue here tonight as, the, as we are underway. Hornets win the tip off. Get over to the far corner, driving into the inside. That was Jeremiah Davis tries to put it in. No good. East LA with the rebound. Melvin got the pass off to Shamar Morrow, puts it in for two. Number 21, Christian Watson with the ball here. Looking for an open man, he finds Anderson. Moving the ball fairly well, gets it over to Watson, back over here to the near side, Jaden Byers. Over to Anderson, shoots it for a nice, easy deuce. They've really got to know where the shooters are on the floor and show high hands and contest those threes. It's a bit of a scoring update, so the Hornets actually did put two on the board. That was just updated, and that was a shot from downtown, so 5-2 in favor of Fullerton. Shamar Morrow just driving get, it in. What a great move by Morrow there. And Morrow famously highlighted, of course, in Last Chance U documentary, getting more playing time here, showing what he can do with the time he's afforded. The ball was stripped away by Cameron Williams. So here is Williams here. Gets it over to July O'Keefe. Back into Williams. He tries to put it up off the rim. Contested and recovered by the Hornets. Davis guarded by Morrow. He gets over to Anderson. Second, drives it in. Bounce pass over to Pipersburg. Off the glass and in. Cameron Williams here setting the offense. Gets it over to Morrow. Little double team action back over to Williams. He approaches the top of the key. Over to Morrow. Melvin tried to bounce past it. Godfrey, but was deflected and recovered by Fullerton. Anderson goes for a shot from downtown off the rim. Recovered by Shamar Morrow. That's no, just a nice pass and transition from Morrow. 
Shamar Morrow stepping it up, and that indeed was a fantastic wide open pass. Deep lob over to Anderson, back into Jemire, Jeremiah Davis, who drives it in just, gets past the hoop. The Huskies got to do a better job guarding the ball and keeping it out of the paint. So they put in another deuce there by Cameron Williams. Made a lot of contact on that shot, but did not draw a foul. So a lot of physicality and athleticism on display here so far between the Hornets and the Huskies. And another two points for the Hornets puts them up 11 to eight. The Huskies got to string some stops together and really do a better job guarding the ball. So we're we'll looking for the Hornets to kind of make those adjustments as this first half goes on from downtown, far side corner, off the rim, recovered by Godfrey. He tries to put it back in, recovered by the Hornets. They're on a bit of a breakaway, trying to slow things down here. On the far side, that's Jaden Byers, gets it over to Christian Watson. Hornets doing their best to counter the double team on display here by the Huskies. Really got to get them off the glass, Albert. Huskies got to do a better job on the glass. Shia Keith gets it over to Cameron Williams. Shamar Morrow coordinating the offense here. Takes it himself, drives it in. Back out to Melvin, puts it up, almost for three, recovered by Jeremiah Davis, throws it over. Gets it into Jaden Byers with the authoritative dunk. So Fullerton College starting to pull away here from East LA. It was a little tight in the scoring. Up until then, the largest lead was by three. Now they're up by seven. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. The Huskies got it. Like I said, they got to get back and transition defense, what we talked about in the, in the key, and then they got to really do a better job guarding the ball and, and rotating to help on defense. Yes, of course, it's a little bit of a breakaway for the Hornets. Fortress Coast Bosey to call his first timeout. So we'll see how your Huskies respond to the defending champions. That buzzer does conclude our timeout here, so action will be resuming momentarily. Inbounding the ball for your Hornets is going to be Esteban Mann. You know, Esteban really brings a, a presence to their to their team, Albert. He's just a dynamic shooter, and he's got great length, and he just does everything well. And Coach Mosley does a great job with all his starters as well as his bench. Yeah. Huskies do a great job handling their three-quarter court press. Son Hewitt gets it into Melvin, puts it up off the board, no good, recovered by Mann, puts it back in for two. Yep, oh, and look at Morrow with the steal. Morrow playing his heart out. Knocked it away, but Hornets able to keep it in possession. Spin move almost fails. Jaden Byers, guarded by Melvin. Gets it into Woodson. I like this group for the Huskies, Albert. They got a lot of energy and they're playing hard. But they seem to be slowing down the Hornets a little bit. Shot goes off the rim, recovered by Hassan Huey. Huey to the near side. That was uh, Michaelini Jackson. Number 10, senior screen right now, gets it back into Huey. 
Nice pass to the inside to Melvin. Almost gets it in. Tries to bounce it out to Huey, but Hornets come away with the takeaway. Good job by the Huskies getting back that time on defense. You gotta get matched up. Gotta get matched up. Jaden Byers from downtown with a nice three point shot. Puts the Hornets back up by eight. So Huskies need to respond. Melvin bounce pass in to Jackson. Huskies did a great job running the baseline by Daniel and he just got open and did a nice job trying to finish and getting fouled. Nice job. Excellent awareness and physicality there to, to absolutely get that bucket and draw the foul. So he will go to the line. Foul called on number two, Mount Anderson. His first personal foul. First team foul. So foul charge to Mount Anderson. So Jackson hits his, his shot from the free throw line. East LA down by five, but now seven as Hornets quickly respond with another two. And an excellent shot from Jelai O'Keefe. So Huskies now down by four, doing pretty good on the offensive side of the ball, but really need to step up their defensive game because the Hornets are bringing it. Sean Woodson. Well, Sean Woodson. Oh, Gordon tried to find Jackson, but Watson came away with a steal on the near side. That was Addy Goodbye. I'm pretty sure I pronounced it right. It's G apostrophe B Y E. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. So Goodbye hits his first free throw shot. Sinks a second. So Hornets go up 24 16. Here we find Jackson. Jackson driving in, tries to find open lane, bounces it off and in. Just a nice move by Daniel that time, ripping baseline. Very smooth maneuvers here as Justin Davis tries to get things going here. From the near side, goodbye, goes for three off the rim, no good, recovered by Huey. Making quick work with the defensive rebound. And a foul charge to Sean Woodson. First personal foul for him. Baker did a great job running, rim running that time. And picked up the foul, doing a great job sealing. So Jackson will inbound here. Tries to find Baker Beal, but goes off his hands. Woodson over to Archer. Back into Woodson, far side to Davis, and a travel. That was a really good job defensively that time. Guys were in the, in the gaps and ready to, ready to get through screens. Nice job by the Huskies. As the Huskies need to keep up this level of defense. This game, of course, still within reach and a lot of basketball left to play. Jackson puts it up for three, no good. But draws a foul. That's good awareness on Daniel's part, knowing the, 
knowing the defender was up in him and didn't have a, he didn't have a chance to come down. And he, he, he has a good, good feel for that kind of stuff, what I've seen watching him practice. So Jackson will go to the line for three. Fouls charged to number 31, Mike Davis. And another fortunate miss here for Jackson. Hits the last one. Husky substitution number 24. So substitution here for East LA. Javian Langston coming in. He'll take over for Jackson. And Langston's Langston's had a, a pretty slow start this year, but Coach Mosley's pretty confident he's gonna he's gonna get it going. And Langston's the type of player who, when he got things going, he can be an impact player off the bench. Addy Gabay puts it up. Rebound contested. This is one of those plays where Coach Mosley, I know he's going to tell him in the timeout, they, we got to get that rebound. So ball was rolled out of bounds on East LA. So possession remains with the Hornets. As Pipersburg. Puts it in for two. Beal had his shot, but was knocked away and out of bounds. So turnover here gets it to the Hornets. Huskies just playing full court man right now. Justin Davis over to Alex Archer. Tries to find an open lane. Nice little layup in and out and in again. Yeah, that time Esteban's got to show hands and build walls down there. Just wall up and not jump and give angles. Pass from Huey tipped by the Hornets. But still manages to make contact with one of the Huskies. That goes out of bounds, so it will be Hornet ball. Huskies picking up full court here. So here's Justin Davis. He's guarded by Langston. Trying to get his hands on the ball, force a turnover, inbound pass to Little. Archer there in the far corner to goodbye. Here's Little driving in. Seven left on the shot clock and a steal by Jalei O'Keefe. Layup does not go in and a foul. Just a great play on Jaleel's part, making the strip, stealing the ball, taking the full court, getting fouled and getting to the free throw line. That's East LA basketball right there, getting stops and getting easy baskets. Yeah, O'Keefe, great awareness just to get that quick hand of the ball, slap it away, and off he went. Yep. He'll go for the line for two. It's his first. And a substitution for East LA. Dylan Godfrey back in the game. He'll take over for Esteban Mann. And O'Keefe hits his second shot. So down by six, 9-16 remaining here in the first half. Davis kicks it to the outside, finds Little guarded by O'Keefe, and another steal, but a foul is called on O'Keefe. Yeah, the Huskies did a great job scrambling and doing a good job on the ball screen. And it looks like O'Keefe just made, hand, uh, made contact with the wrist yeah, of Little any, there. Yeah, anytime you swat down like that, the ref's going to call us. 
deep inbound pass to Little. It's guarded by O'Keefe, kicks it out to Archer. Archer keeping it, shot clock winding down, pass goes to the outside. And a three hit by Godfrey Little. And Elex's own Godfrey tries to put it in for a three, goes off the rim and out of bounds. So Fullerton College, little by little, starting to pull away here from East LA. 8.32 remaining. Huskies need to shore up their defense if they want to keep this game competitive. They sure do, they sure do. And it they got to they gotta do a better job getting better shots and getting open shots, taking too many contested shots, and I know Coach Mosley's not going to be happy with that. Here's Christian Watson. Morrow with the steal. Nice Bounce pass, pass what over nice. to Brandon Wilson, and that was just a thing of beauty there, French. Yeah, yeah, Albert, what a nice pass. What a nice play by, by Shamar. Pass to the outside to Anderson. Rebound recovered by Wilson. Gets it over to Shamar. Ball almost knocked away, but Shamar able to keep his hands on it. Defensive rebound for Fullerton. And a shot off the glass goes in for two for Jeremiah Davis. So 33-24 in favor of the Hornets. Husky's got to settle down and get a good shot here. They need to be able to control the pace of the game as Wilson puts it up for three. Nothing but net from downtown. Nice job by Morrow. Drawing two on the pick and roll and getting rid of it early. So Husky's back in with six. Pass deflected off of Javian Langston. No whistle called. Here's Wilson. Takes it in for himself. Ball deflected off of Godfrey. And a whistle and a turnover. Hornet ball. So personal foul charge to Brandon Wilson. Your Husky still down by six. His ball is inbounded here to Addy Goodbye. Goodbye with the nice finger roll. So they do count it and one. So Goodbye will go to the line for a free throw. Watson there just rejected that ball screen and did a nice job, Euro stepping and getting in, getting in the paint and scoring. So Goodbye misses his free throw here. East LA. Trying to slow things down, control things here. Oh, they're Shamar coming out Morrow. in the zone here. He finds Godfrey. To the far corner to Jackson, deflected. And Jackson able to still hang on to the ball. And Jackson just kind of threw it up as a shot there to avoid a shot clock violation. Yeah, the Huskies got to do a better job executing against the zone. Pass goes wild. Davis unable to rein it in. Goes out of bounds. So a turnover here. Gregory Melvin in on the floor now for East LA. Fullerton still in the zone here. So Fullerton starting to step up their defensive game here. 
to coincide with their offensive prowess. Godfrey goes for two and just rolls in and out. Yeah. It was Davis there with the defensive rebound, I believe. Gets it into Anderson. He's guarded by Melvin. Out to goodbye. Swish. Got to know KYP, know, know your personnel on that one, Albert. You got to know where the shooters are. And that's something Coach Mosley is definitely going to address as we go into halftime. 5.05 left on the clock. Pass out to Jackson, puts it up off the rim. Recovered by Godfrey. Kicks it out to Williams, back to the near side. To Jackson, into Melvin. Nice, nice. And Melvin will draw the foul. What a, what a nice spin baseline by, by Greg. So Gord, so uh, Melvin here will go to the line for two. Sinks his first shot. Substitution for the Hornets. Alex Archer coming in for Pipersburg. Melvin goes two for two there. There's Christian Watson. Jackson keeping tabs on him. Pass out to Davis over to Archer. Back out to Watson there in the far corner. He's double teamed. Kicks it back to the near side. Davis puts it up for three in and out. Yeah, Wilson Husky, with the rebound. Huskies got lucky there. They really need to get matched up. Yeah, Davis had a wide open shot. Completely uncontested. And a charging foul is called. Javian Langston comes in for Gregory Melvin. Christian Watson takes it out past half court. He's guarded by Jackson. Pass goes wide past Jaden Byers. It's a little mental mistake there for the Hornets. Hopefully East LA come away with some points here on the turnover. Fullerton back in the zone. Nice, nice job by the Huskies. Nice little inbound pass there for Wilson, putting it in for two. So East LA back with it seven, 347 remaining here in the first half. Jaden Byers drives it in, kicks it out to the near corner, over to Christian Watson, puts it up and rebounded by Jackson. So Jackson's slowing things down here. Fullerton doing a good job changing up their defenses, going from man to zone. It's kind of throwing the Huskies off here a little bit. They're doing a fairly good job of making those in-game adjustments to get themselves back in this game. Godfrey puts it up, little spin move. And Watson with the defensive rebound. So foul charge to Dylan Godfrey. That'll send Amon Anderson to... Actually, no, sorry, the foul is actually on Davis. So Davis will go for two. So Davis hits his first shot. Come on, 20, 20. 
Davis goes two for two. Three minutes remaining. Williams over to Jackson, back over to Williams. Kicks it out to Langston on the far corner. Jackson again. Good recognition that time by Cameron getting it, getting it in Esteban. So foul charge, but a non-shooting, but not a shooting foul. Jackson inbounds, pass was blocked and out of bounds, so it'll stay with East LA. Fullerton switching those, 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 those screens inside on the out of bounds play, making it tough on the Huskies. Nice inbound pass to Langston. So shot counts and draws the foul. Just a great job by Langston that time, getting in there and finishing strong. Absolutely, and it really helps with that great inbounded pass from Williams to really set things in motion. Yes. And a travel is called on East LA. Uh, he's just got, he's got to go up and finish that right there. Using the paint, he's got to go finish that. Husky's picking up full now. So 2.40 remaining. East LA still down by three. Just barely keeping pace with the Hornets, if you can even say that they are. They're certainly doing their best. Husky's, Shot from Davis does not go in. Yeah, Husky's doing a good job on that empty side ball screen. Doing a good job defensively. Williams over to Langston. Kind of reading the floor, seeing what's going to be his best shot. Kicks it into Jackson. Back out to Langston. Puts it up for three. Air balls it recovered by Jaden Byers. Just not smart right there by Langston. He can't foul 35 feet from the basket. I know Coach Mosley's going to talk to him about that at halftime. Yes, another foul there for Javian Langston. That'll send Anderson to the charity stripe. They'll go for one and one. Hits the first. Pipersburg coming in for Alex Archer. No, Drew's got 20. Drew's got 20. Maya, you got 33. Three, four. Three, four. And a miss on the second shot. Well, the Huskies got a chance here. They can get a basket here. Williams over to Jackson. He's guarded by Goodbye. Williams there on the outside corner, drives it and kicks it back out to Jackson. Goes for a shot from downtown, in and out, rebounded by Goodbye. Nice job by the Huskies getting in the paint and making the extra pass. Just yeah. couldn't convert. Excellent ball movement, but that shot unfortunately just didn't sink. Good, good job by Brandon showing that time on the ball screen. So Brandon Wilson charged with the foul. That'll send Byers to the line again. 41-33 in favor of Fullerton, 120 remaining. Byers shooting one and one misses the first. Look at that, his only shot. And a timeout called by Pipersburg. You know, it just comes down to who wants it more. It's all about who wants to be first to the floor on that on that loose ball. And Fullerton's been loose to, first to the floor on, on multiple loose balls. I know Coach Mosley's not going to be happy about that. Yeah, so Mosley will, of course, take advantage of the Hornet timeout. 
And with that timeout, we'll take a quick break ourselves. You're watching Huskies of Basketball right here on SportsnetUSA.net. And we're back here for more Husky basketball right here on SportsCentUSA.net. Things getting quick here. Just over a minute left as Davis spins around past. Langston puts it up for two, recovered by Esteban Mann. That's just Husky, Husky defense right there. I know Coach is going to be proud of that possession. And the pace definitely quickened up here. Williams passes it over to Godfrey. Puts up a contested two, recovered by Jackson, back out to Godfrey, over to Williams. Williams setting up the play yet again. Keeps it himself, over to Mann. And a travel. An unfortunate time for that as East LA was trying to pull back in. Yeah, Esteban's got a roll on that. They switched and he's got to roll hard to the basket because the he had the guard on him and he would have been able to post him up inside. So here's Watson over to Davis. 25 remaining. This is about a one, possession right here. One second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Davis slowing things down. Ball knocked away by Mann, but remains with the Hornets. Yeah. They're more than likely going to just Yeah, they'll let probably just go inbound one and, one. and dribble it away until half. Go, 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 go. They're running an isolation play here. Davis with a nice drive. Four seconds remaining, Jackson puts it in for a nice two to beat the buzzer and take us into halftime. What a, what a great play by Huskies. Hopefully, what a great play. Absolutely, so East LA currently down by six, scores 41 to 35, and a great job to get those last second points and make the most of what was less than five seconds, so really quick driving breakaway there for East LA and give a nice, you know, semi-strong finish uh, for the half. No doubt about it, Albert, no doubt about it. So we are in halftime here. We'll take a quick break, probably come back with a little more stats. We'll see you in about 15 minutes. You're watching Husky Basketball right here on SportsNetUSA.net. So we are back here for the start of our second half. You're watching Husky basketball right here on SportsNetUSA.net. Albert Robles here joined by Coach Darren French. As a whistle is called and a turnover is going to make it Hornets ball. Looks like one of the Huskies that stepped out of bounds. So that's the cause of the turnover here. Yeah, unforced turnovers, those, those just can't happen. Yeah, hopefully the Huskies will keep that to a minimum because it's those type of errors that can really kill you if they start to add up. Davis guarded by Godfrey and Melvin. Kicks it back out to Anderson. Inside to Byers, to the near side. Watson drives it in. Little sling pass. Over to Pipersburg and out of bounds it goes. So turnover here. Huskies catch a break there. They just catch a real break there. Yeah, Let's Pipersburg had an easy bucket. So Melvin inbounds here. Gets it into Williams. Drew. Drew. 
Out on the far side, Tisha Marmaro. At the corner is Williams. Little screen by Godfrey sets it up. Finger roll in. Nice job on the on the on the ball screen. Cameron did a great job getting in the paint. Yeah, Godfrey is very good at setting up those screens. It'd be great to see him getting active in the points column as well. He's 0 for 5 from the field today. That's unfortunate that time. You know, a foul call to Melvin. Mosley saying he's flopping. Wasn't a foul. And a timeout called by Jaden Byers. Couldn't find an open man. East LA within four here, 18.42 left here in our second half, so still very early on going. So French, what sort of adjustments do the uh, Huskies need to make here? Well, they, they've, got to, they've got to do a better job on their ball screen coverage, Albert, and uh, really forcing that guy to come off the screen. They're, re they're allowing Fullerton to reject and uh, get baseline. They really got to square those guys up and keep the ball in front. And looking at the uh, stat sheets here, two key players that they really need to look out for would be Byers and Davis. Both led the team with eight points apiece in the first half. And Pipersburg, very present. He's had a total of four rebounds, three of them offensive boards. So it looked like Williams came away with a steal, but he stepped out of bounds <laughs> on the steal. That was a great job by Cameron that time, protecting the basket and getting the steal. And showing great speed there. Here's Davis guarded by Melvin. Gets it out over to Byers. Tries to find a lane. Guarded by Godfrey, and a travel. Great job by Dylan that time, showing hands. It's exactly what East LA needs to do at this point in time. Williams into Godfrey. Back over to Williams, near corner is Godfrey. Guarded by Davis, goes for three off the rim. Rebounded by Pipersburg. Dylan's got to get, he's got to get in the paint and score that and try to get fouled. Needs to be a little more active. He's, you know, one of the larger players on this Husky team. Needs to make his physical body known. So foul charge to Cameron Williams. I don't know what the ref saw, but Mosley's heated here as Byers goes to the line. So Byers shooting two here, hits the first. And nails the second. So Hornets go back up by six. Here's Jaleo Keith. Out over to Shamar Morrow, back into Williams. Nice little ball movement here. Morrow keeping himself, drives it to the lane, off the rim and in. What a nice play by Morrow. Just a really athletic play that time. The more we see of Morrow, the more we like. He's getting very smooth with his movements. Anderson to Watson. Guarded by Morrow. Screen there by Pipersburg. And a jump ball. Good job by the Huskies that time. Stopping the ball. And Godfrey got some hands on the ball there. So jump ball ruled for the Hornets.
pass, almost deflected away by Godfrey. Gets it into Watson. Spins around, up and in. Nice play there by Watson. Huskies got to stop the ball outside the paint. They really got to do a better job helping on that. And Godfrey almost came up with a takeaway there from the inbound pass to Pipersburg, but unable to do so, which led the points directly to Watson. Ball knocked out of the hands of Morrow out of bounds, so East LA ball. Williams will inbound. And a whistle. Nice awareness by Morrow on that time. Foul charge to Christian Watson. First personal and first team foul. O'Keefe finds Williams, goes for a deep shot. Rebounded by Godfrey. So we got a fresh clock. Williams coordinating the office to the near side to Williams. There's O'Keefe. Pass goes wide out of bounds. Huskies ran the ran a nice cross screen, baseline screen, and just was an errant pass that time. Needed to wait a little bit. Yeah, they were moving the ball well up until that point. Christian Watson here. He'll take it up past half court. Guarded by Jackson. Goes up for two. No good. Rebounded by Jackson. He's on a bit of a breakaway here. Guarded by Anderson. Lays it up for two. What a nice, nice and smooth pull up. Man, what a nice move. Daniel, Daniel's really got brings electricity to the floor when he's on out there. Pipersburg. No good. Rebounded by Shamar Morrow. So more good defense here by East LA. Forty-five, forty-one. In favor of the Hornets. East LA pulling back in. And a foul. That's just a great job, Coach Mosley identifying mismatches and running the high ball screen with Dylan and, and Morrow out there, taking advantage of personnel. Coming up, watch out! Board of substitution, number 41, Sean Woodson. Sean, you have 32. Some more substitutions here. Brandon Wilson comes in for Godfrey. Wilson led the Huskies in rebounds in the first half. So he had an excellent presence there. So that shot is made 45-42 now. And we're back to what the lead was in the early going of this game in the first half. Huskies got to, got to buckle in right here. They got a chance to get a stop and tie it up. And a three for Jaden Byers. Cameron just can't back up off that ball. He's got to stay up, level with the ball, and guard the shooter. Gordon goes for two. Air ball recovered by Watson. Gets it into Byers, back over to Watson. Guarded by Mara Wilson. And a takeaway by Jackson. Nice bounce pass to Wilson. Nice, easy deuce. I tell you what, Daniel just brings so much electricity off that bench. He's provided most of the offense for East LA. Had nine total points for East LA, which is really saying something for coming off the bench. Yep, yep, yep. Fullerton did a nice job that time, put, running an empty side ball screen and the weak side stampede cut and got 
got a layup. Hussey's got to be in the paint and help side. So 50-44 in favor of the Hornets. Only a six point lead, still very much anybody's game. I really like Daniel. Daniel brings, Chris brings so much savvy and on both ends of the floor, Albert. Leave a gap here, Jaden. Good stop. Good stop. So Jackson currently on the far side of the corner there. Moving into the paint. He's on the near side corner. They find him looking for an open man back out to Hassan Huey. Nice bounce pass to Shamar Morrow. Spin move. Denied, recovered by Melvin, puts that back in for two. Yes, that's just Husky basketball right there. What a great job by Melvin. That's what East LA needs to continue to do. Huey able to knock it away. Hornets able to keep possession. Back out to Anderson for two. Correction three. Yeah. That was beyond the line. It fell asleep on the weak side. Got to, got to keep your head on a swivel. Fullerton's in a zone now, Albert. Morrow goes for three. Rebound by Melvin. Knocked away by Justin Davis and a foul. And that's a good foul. That's a, that's a good foul right there. Foul called the Huskies, number 25, Hassan and yeah, so that foul will kind of put a, to put a stop to that breakaway that the Hornets were clearly about to go on. Kind of buys them some time to slow the game down a bit. I like this group. I like this group for the Huskies here. Let's see if they can get a stop. Byers jukes pass. Jackson kicks it out. Nice defensive moves there by East LA. Huey from the far side corner, rebounded by Melvin, knocked out of hand and out of bounds. Nice extra pass by Daniel. So ball will remain with East LA. JD 10, JD, come on 10, yes, Alex. 12.52 left here in the second half. East LA down by seven. Jackson able to find Wilson, kicks it out to the far corner where Jackson is. Little's in his face, here's Mann. Nice little handoff to Jackson. Just off the inside part of the rim, recovered by Davis. Here's Little to Davis. Quick shot inside to Archer, stolen away by Wilson. Nice job by the Huskies that time, defensively. Fullerton back in his zone. Pass goes wide, stolen by Archer. Tried to do a little bounce pass to an open Little. Woodson over to Davis. Woodson takes a shot, is denied, rebound by Morrow. So a lot of these shots by the Hornets aren't going in. But the same is said for East LA right now, but they're playing far better defense. Yeah. Nice job by the Huskies attacking the zone. One of the best ways to attack a zone is getting it inside. So man draws the foul. Fouls charge to Sean Woodson. So Mann will go for the line. He'll shoot two. These will be some much needed points here for East LA. Misses the first. Two substitutions here. Maya, 
So Jeremiah Davis and Addy Goodbye come into the game. And another miss for Mann. Nice job by the Huskies. They're getting the offensive rebound. So Marles guarded by Goodbye, gets it over to Hassan Huey. Spin move, nice bounce pass to Morrow. Almost gets it in, but a nice offensive rebound by Hassan Huey. So that was Mann with the rebound. Lots of body moving at congestion here, but Hornets come away with a steal. Here's Jeremiah Davis, guarded by Jackson. Woodson provides a screen, kicks it out to Little. Back over to Archer. Davis, nice little bounce pass over to Archer, out to the far corner for Woodson, off the rim. And Hassan Huey comes up with the defensive board. Nice job defensively by the Huskies that time. And Husky still able to keep pace. Morrow. Just off the glass. Man with the touch to try to, you know, keep the ball in possession, but it goes off of the Hornets, so will still be East LA ball. So that's going to cause Fullerton to call a timeout. We'll take a break ourselves. You're watching Husky basketball right here on SportsnetUSA.net. So we're back from the Hornet timeout. Fullerton leads your East Los Angeles College Huskies 53 to 46 as Jackson will inbound. Finds Huey over to Langston. Javen kicks it back out to Wilson. Another pass into Langston. Mm. And a turnover. Huskies do a good job looking to make the extra pass that time. Just went out of bounds. Jeremiah Davis guarded by Mann. Finds Archer over to Addy Goodbye. Woodson over to Davis, back into Woodson. Draws it in, little bounce pass. Back out to Davis. A little hard to see because no one will sit down in my eye line here. Archer back out to Davis. Mosley calling for a foul, saying that there was like a little hook. Wilson's foul, charge to Jackson. Yeah, Wilson's just got to do a better job squaring that guy up on that ball screen. And he allowed him to turn the corner and got in the paint. So per oh, it's a personal foul called. Jackson guards Archer. And another foul called on Jackson. I don't know what the ref was song there. I saw all ball. I, I, didn't, I didn't see it either, Albert. I didn't see it. Like that was just good defense because clearly, you know, Archer had lost possession there. So yeah. Yeah. let's see if the Huskies can get a stop here. 9.23 remaining. Davis kicks it out to goodbye. Puts it up for three. In and out. 
Rebound made by Jackson. Huskies doing a good job guarding the three-point line that time. And a foul. Wilson did a great job that time sealing his man so Daniel can get to the bucket. So foul's charged to Addy Goodbye. That'll send Jackson to the line. So he'll shoot for two. Hits the first. Fullerton substitution, number 21, Tristan Watson. Watson comes into the game for Fullerton. If Daniel can make this, they cut it, it can be a two possession game right here. He hits the second. First points of the game and what feels to be like the last four minutes. So East LA down by five as Jeremiah Davis works the offense. Kicks it out to Addy Goodbye. He drives it in, goes up for the layup. And a nice rebound by Mann. Hassan Huey controlling the floor. Out to Langston, finds Wilson. Over to Huey again. Almost a rogue pass, but man able to recover. Hassan Huey, nice little spin move. Almost puts it in. Gets his own rebound for a nice put back to East LA back within three. You know, they did a great job. They were patient that time. They didn't rush it. And uh, they had multiple efforts on that time. He did a really nice job getting a bucket. Yeah, so excellent and well-timed and much-needed points there from Hassan Huey, getting his own offensive board, putting it back in. You know, Hassan just brings a, a true point guard mentality out there and making the extra pass, you know. you can It's really evident. So 8.23 remaining here. East LA with four timeouts remaining. Three timeouts for the Hornets. So we'll see if East LA able to make some magic here in what's left of this game and see if they can upset the state champions. So Davis ends bounds to Watson. Jackson with some great defensive coverage here. Yeah, I really like this matchup, keeping Daniel on, on, Will, on Christian here. Pass from Anderson goes rogue, but Piperberg able to keep a hand on it. And a foul charged to Wilson. Huskies come out really aggressive. And you know, Albert, the most aggressive team wins. So it's good. That's a good sign for the Huskies. Davis finds Watson. Wilson with some nice coverage. Over to Anderson, guarded by Langston. Spin move dribbles around. And a travel. Great job that time. The Huskies did a great job on the ball screen. and Keeping the pressure on Fullerton. Fullerton's back in their zone. Huey over to Jackson, guarded by Davis. And a foul. So Pipersburg charged with the foul. That'll send Jackson to the line. You know, just, just being aggressive, getting in the paint, drawing a foul. Unfortunate miss for the first shot. Christian 
and he hits the second. So for the first time since the start of the game, it's now a two-point game. Davis looking for an open man. Langson coming in hot, knocking it out of bounds. Huskies did a great job sandwiching Christian, the point guard, forcing somebody else to get the ball. So Davis able to inbound to Anderson. It's guarded by Langston. Archer, nice little screen there. Anderson puts it up. Rebounded by Javian Langston. Huskies doing a great job in their three-point defense right now. They got to keep it going. East LA in an excellent position to tie the game here. Nice spin move by Langston, rolls right in and sinks in. 53 all with 7-10 left here in the second half. East LA finally ties it up. And a foul. Now that time you can definitely hear the slap in action on that one. Yeah, yeah. That, that was an easy call, so that'll send Christian Watson to the line. So Watson will shoot two. Hits the first. Jaden Byers checks in. And Watson misses the second shot. Rebound made by Mann. Huskies catch a break there. Austin Huey organizing the offense. Kicks it out to Langston. Spin move around, a foul. Sinks the bucket for two and one. You know, I tell you what, Albert, we're seeing some we're seeing some young guys really come to life tonight and really come of age. It's really great to see. They're showing some mental fortitude and physical grittiness, which you love to see. And that's Husky basketball. Especially when you consider just how powerful these two teams are. Great job that time by the Huskies on the offensive glass. And so East LA goes up by three with some great offensive rebounds. Christian Watson guarded by Jaleo Keith. Finds Anderson, kicks it to the near side corner. Back out to Davis. East LA putting the pressure on Fulton. Seven left on the shot clock. Davis drives past O'Keefe and drives it in for two. So great play there by Jeremiah Davis to keep Fullerton in this game. Good extra Jaleo effort that Keith time by Jaleel. With an obnoxiously easy offensive rebound. Langston just going to work down there on the block, Albert. Because Langston shot for three, goes off the rim. No one goes for it. Nope, nope. And a foul. Foul charge to the Huskies, number 25, Hassan Huey. So foul charge foul. to Hassan Huey. Team foul. It's the eighth team foul for the Huskies. Fullerton's really stagnant right now on offense, and Huskies are doing a great job defensively. Shooting two. So Archer goes to the line. He'll shoot for two. Sinks the first. Substitution for the Huskies. Substitutions here. Shamar Morrow. Shamar Morrow. And Michelini Jackson back in. And Justin Davis, number four, in for Fullerton. As Archer hits the second. One point game. Let's see if the Huskies can get a basket here. Wilson on the near side corner finds Huey. Out to Jackson. Mar on the far side. Wilson there. Back to Jackson. Great movement here. Fullerton on the double team. 
Lang's man able to try and keep it alive. Goes up for two, rebounded by Fullerton. They're on a breakaway, going from responsive points. Davis with an open bucket and great defense by East LA to prevent. Looked like a travel on that. Anderson to Jeremiah Davis. Empty side ball screen here. Here's Byers, 15 left on the shot clock. Over to Jeremiah Davis. Nice job being in the gap. Jackson Hassan. stepping up, defense off of Anderson and out of bounds. A foul called. Pushing, no. called on man. That's a tough one, Albert. That's a tough one. I didn't see it. I clearly saw Davis step out of bounds on that position. That should, that should have been a turnover. The push didn't have anything to do with him going out of bounds. In my the momentum opinion. carried him outside yeah. of that line. Yeah, that, that was, that's a tough one. But that'll send Justin Davis to the line. First shot ties it up. Misses the second. East LA with the rebound. Now's the time for East LA to make their moves. No time like the present. Morrow with the handoff to Huey. Guarded by Byers to the near corner to Jackson. Puts it up for three and hits it. What a great play that time by the Huskies. What a great play off that double screen. Daniel came off and just ripped it for three. And a great under pressure shot puts East LA back up by three as Davis kicks it out to his brother over to Archer. Near side corner is Jeremiah Davis. Far side corner to Justin. Back out to Byers. East LA keeping the pressure. Byers drives it in. Morrow not making contact. Over to Justin. Off the rim. Rebounded by Jeremiah. He finally puts it in for two. Husky's got to do a better job rebounding that weak side rebound and getting in there and pinching. So the Davis Collective able to keep the ball alive and bring Fullerton back in by one point. That'll force a Fullerton timeout. We'll take a quick break ourselves. You're watching Husky Basketball right here on Sportsnet. So we're back right here live on Sportsnet, USA.net. Huskies lead Fullerton College 62 to 61. 342 remaining as Shamar Morrow takes over and passes over to Huey, out to Jackson, back to Huey again. Fullerton comes out of the timeout and man-to-man -man defense. Morrow sees an opening. Ball knocked away, recovered by Watson. Little breakaway, pass out to Justin Davis over to Archer, back into Watson. Contested ball does not find the net, but a foul. Morrow did a good job getting in the paint, but he's got to get rid of it sooner when he draws two. So that sends Watson to the line in position to tie the game and take the lead. Misses the first. Substitution for East LA. Cameron Williams comes in for Hassan Huey. Huey just did a nice job in those minutes. 
and Watson misses the second. So it goes 0 for 2 in that trip to the charity strike. Williams here taking over. This is coming down to a possession game here, Albert. Let's see what the Huskies get here. Now East LA could benefit from some buckets as that pass goes off the hands of Shamar Morrow. So that'll be an unfortunate, unforced turnover for East LA. More substitutions here. Godfrey Little coming in for Fullerton. Watson with the ball here, guarded by Jax as they just pass half court. Finds Archer over to Little. Advances the ball up, Jeremiah Davis. Just guarded by Mann. Goes for two and it sinks it in. Davis. Davis, did, Davis posted up that time and took advantage of the, the mismatch. Melvin finds Jackson. Down by one. Watson able to take away the rogue pass. And a foul. So foul charge to Shamar Morrow. So that'll send Alex Archer to the line. Huskies got to keep doing what got them back, got them the lead. They got to keep running and executing their offense. Archer hits the first. Archer misses the second. Melvin with the rebound, so it's still a one possession game here. With 2.15 left on the clock, it really could be anybody's game. Fullerton in man, and they're, they're at the three defensively. Carl in drives paint. it in, puts it up off the rim. Rebound by East LA, goes out of bounds, and a turnover. It's the last thing East LA needed here. East LA needs to step up their game. Jackson able to knock it away. Watson able to keep possession. Davis keeps it, drives it up and in. Husky's got to do a better job guarding Davis. They just allowed him to turn the corner and get in the paint, and they got to do a better job. But Davis is a proven impact player so far for Fullerton. He's absolutely the key player you need to keep in check. So with this break in action, we'll take a break ourselves. We'll be right back with Husky Basketball right here on SportsNetUSA.net. So that concludes the timeout. We're back from the E Arena here on SportsNetUSA.net. 66-62 in favor of the Fullerton College Hornets. <laughs> so Melvin inbounds to Hassan Huey. 
Let's see if the Huskies can get a bucket here after two straight stops. And a whistle called by Fullerton. Foul charge to Fullerton, number 10. Alex so foul Archer. charge to Alex Archer. That'll send Wilson to the line. Nice job by Coach Mosley that time, diagramming a play out of timeout to get the ball inside. So Wilson makes the first shot, three point game. And hits the second. Those are big, big free throws by, by Brandon. Huskies in a 2-2-1 press here. Wilson playing great defense, able to find Watson. Back out to Jeremiah Davis. Guarded by Jackson. He's been great off the bench so far this game and has really make, made his presence known. Hassan Huey knocks it away with the steal. Over to Melvin, who sinks it in, and the foul. Well, you just got to love Hassan Huey making plays on the defensive end. Excellent. Excellent play there off the breakaway steal. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. So Gregory Melvin goes to the line. And it hits it. 67-66. Minute 02 left. And an East LA timeout. You're watching Husky basketball right here on Sportsnet USA.net. And we're back here watching Husky basketball right here on Sportsnet, USA.net. I'm Alvaro Robles, joined by coach Darren French. East LA with a one point lead here with a minute left. Christian Watson, he's open, puts it in for two. Huskies came out really aggressively in a man press and Fullerton did a good job breaking it. 50 seconds left here in the second half and the game, Hassan Huey. Running the offense, finds Jackson. Fullerton in their zone. One point game here. Morrow keeps it himself, puts it up. Fullerton with the defensive rebound. And a foul called. The fourth personal foul charged to Michelini Jackson. That sends Watson to the line. At the line four, Fullerton, number 21. Well. Christian Watson, shooting two. And Watson misses the first. Fullerton substitution, number four, Justin Davis. Plenty of time left in the game, Albert. Plenty of time for the Huskies. 30.4 seconds left on the clock. East LA needs to be aggressive on this bucket here. And oh another boy. miss. Oh so it remains a one point game. This game is entirely in East LA's hands. Timeout. And a timeout called. Sixty-eight, sixty-seven, point at 23.8 left on the game clock, 24 on the shot clock. Those might as well be the same. French, what type of play are you drawing up here? Well, 
I know what coach is going to do. I kind of have a feel. He's probably going to get that ball inside to one of their big guys right now because they've just been doing a good job of that, and they can take advantage of a mismatch. You know, they, they need to get a high percentage shot here. That's all that counts and get fouled. So. So we'll see what Coach Mosley is able to come up with here. It's going to be an exciting 23 seconds to see what East LA can do. It's a big possession right here, Albert. So Wilson inbounds to Huey. We'll see how everything goes here. Morrow with the ball. Yeah, and Fullerton's back in their zone, Albert. Back off to Jackson. Clock ticking, 13 left. Deep pass goes wide and recovered by Fullerton. And that's the last thing you want to have had happened. But a foul was called. So this game is still not over. No, Husky skill got a chance. So Jeremiah Davis goes to the line. Davis hits the first. Two point game. Davis hits the second shot. So three point game. Fullerton in total command right now. East LA is going to need a big time three to have a chance. Yeah, the Huskies got to get a good, good high percentage shot right here. So let's see what coach draws up. So with this little timeout, we'll take just a quick break ourselves. Stay tuned. You're watching Husky basketball right here on Sportsnet USA.net. So we're back here for the conclusion of our second half. You're watching Husky basketball right here on Sportsnet, USA.net. 9.3 seconds remaining. Fullerton leads 70 to 67. Fullerton East pick LA it up. needs a big time bucket. To kick it out to the near side corner to Jackson. Back out to Williams, puts it up, and the shot is waved off. Shots waved off because East LA managed to call a timeout. So some time will be put back on the clock. Currently 0.3 seconds remaining. Should be about 2.3 left. So refs will confer here, but there should be more time put back on the clock. Not much.
So 1.5 officially put back on the clock. So we'll see what East LA is able to do here. Melvin ends bounds, finds O'Keefe, puts it up in time, and sinks it! What a what a play! Game by tying buzzer beater three point shot from Jalay O'Keefe. What a play! What a play by the Huskies! Oh man! Oh mercy! Wow. Wow. Oh, no. They. It was not a three-pointer. His toe was on the line. Only counts for two. Wow. What a finish. I, oh, man. Like, for a second, like, I thought, like, oh, cool, they're going to go in overtime. But then, like, we see the handshake, and oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Tough one to swallow. Tough one. But, you know, like, I, I credit to Coach Mosey. Like, that was an excellent play that was drawn up there to get that shot off. Credit to Jaleo Keith for getting that shot off in time. Because, like, I think he got that off with maybe, like, you know, 0 .3, 0 0.4 seconds left. Just the execution of that was simply phenomenal. And, you know, unfortunately, just had that toe on the line. Just a couple inches really made that game. And, you know... The champions able to hold up here, and I, I don't know what else there is left to say on this French. You know, you, you just got to take your hat off to the Huskies for fighting back and playing uh, hard-fought game. You know, great job by Coach Mosley drawing at that end of the play. It's just, just a tough break. Yeah, a heartbreaking loss here for your East Los Angeles College Huskies. But you know, I, I like you said there, French. You know, like East LA. They had the lead for a little bit, like a little bit at the end there of the actual game, uh, but you know East LA, they 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 hung in there, like they hung in there and they show that they can play. So it'll be interesting to see how East LA handles the rest of the conference game and the rest of the season. And I think they could make it a very interesting season going forward. Well, I tell you what, they showed some signs. Their young guys, their freshmen, are really starting to play turn it on and you know they, they're gonna they're definitely showing direction yeah so that will do it for us heartbreaking loss here for East LA their next game coming up I believe is going to be against Santa Monica College I believe that'll be on sportsnetusa.net pay attention to the Husky Athletics page for more information on that for myself Coach Darren French, Sir D. Haynes, SID for your East Los Angeles College Huskies. You've been watching Husky basketball right here on sportsnetusa.net. Thank you for watching, everyone.